Coach, you have your share of experience with uh, Flacco. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things you remember about his game? Well, he has incredibly strong arm, uh, hard guy to you know bring down in the pocket. He's big, uh, deceivingly fast, uh, more than what you might might think. I mean, he really has a great arm. I mean, I was always amazed watching him out in practice. Just, I mean, he can put it on a string now. What did, uh, Gilbert seems like a guy who's made pretty quick progress since you guys picked him up and, and got him in the lineup. That is that accurate? And what's he what's he doing well to, to fit in? Yeah, I think he's he's taking it uh, to heart. I mean, he's really been uh, just like one of the guys in there ever since he got here. I think he's very conscientious, kind of quiet, and and just really studies a lot. Uh, I think he's been on top of it. He knows what to do. He hasn't had many mental mistakes at all for being a, a new guy, and I think he's just working really hard at it. What about skills-wise? What's what's he do well? What are kind of his? Well, I think he's you know a good pass rusher. Uh, he does a good job of setting the edge. Um, you know, we can all improve in in that area. I think a little bit, all of them. Uh, but I think he's done a good job of of uh, you know being a pass rusher. Where have you seen Harold maybe make his best strides uh, from last year to this year so far? Well, I just think he's he's much more in tune to the whole defense and what we're really kind of wanting him to do and what his role is on every play. You know, every play is not a pass play. Um, you know, he's not just a pass rusher. He's an outside linebacker. And so I think that's big. The, to me, he's been the biggest strides in the base defense, just being able to play outside backer, setting the edge better in the run. Um, those kind of things that you know you just didn't have to do that at BC as much and there's you know there's coverage stuff that's involved now that he didn't really have to do at BC so the biggest strides to me I think he's made is in base defense. Do you see a difference when they change backs in their run game or make three lessons? Well the thing of it is is that they're both complementary I mean one is a speed Everybody's at the point of attack, take it outside, bounce the ball, ball could go anywhere. The other guy is bigger, I mean, one's 190, one's 230 something. And I mean, they're jet downhill, slasher, hard runner, but he can also bounce it outside. And they both are really good out of the backfield. I mean, it, when, when you look at them, you know, you look at all these you know, you look at running backs in the league and you look at the stats and you say, well, this guy's like the leading rusher and this. Well, when you combine the two of them, they're the leading rusher, you know, and that's that's the thing that we got to two different styles of guys. The plays are kind of the same, but they may run them a little different just because of their style. Um, uh, I think they're both just extremely, extremely complementary to each other in the run game, but they're also just as dynamic in the pass game. How about the tight end fan? Usually the rookie tight ends are kind of struggle initially, but he seems to be holding his own. He's doing, he's doing a great job. I mean, the guy's a really good athlete. I think everybody knew when they drafted him when he was coming out. I, I didn't, you know, I don't obviously spent a whole lot of time evaluating offensive guys uh, for the draft, but I just know that his name came up. It seems like every time I turned on the TV, his name came up as a tight end. He's, he's not disappointing. He's, a, he's really a talented, talented guy. Defense, obviously, you play well enough. You probably would probably win every game, but sure you're finding things that need to get better. What, what are the things you're preaching that you can take it to another level? Well, two, th two main things probably, Jim, is number one, we just can't give up the one big play a game that we seem to be giving up. Um, you know, we'll play well, play well, play well, and we give up last week, we give up a reverse. One week we gave up, you know. It's not so much the desperation at the end that bothers me sometimes because, you know, I may make, we may make a call that you know, we're trying to make a play at the end, and sometimes it's feast or famine, you know, when you're trying to really get somebody stopped at the end. But we've given up a, you know, a run in the Colts game. We gave up the reverse last week. We gave up, you know, just a, a run in the uh, Jacksonville game. And just, we just got to eliminate that big play a game that, that we've given up. And then the other thing is we just got to play better in the red zone. We've been really good in the red zone last year. We were really good down there. Um, and I'm just kind of disappointed of where we are right now in the red zone. We, we just got to get them, get them, hold them to field goals down there. You guys have a pretty varied group when it comes to sacks. I think maybe like nine people have at least one sack. Has that kind of always been a hallmark for, for your defenses? And, and does that matter? You know, should one guy be? I don't know, uh, not when I had Suggs. Yeah, right. <laughs> then, yeah. That wasn't necessarily true. Um, it, but I think it's it's 
that's what I'm fine with. I don't care how who gets the sacks or who's doing what. We're just trying to devise things to try to get home and whoever that might be, whether it be somebody out of the secondary, whether it be an outside backer, uh, you know, and if we get a guy that, that we're going to kind of just let him rush, then that's kind of what we're going to do. I mean, we didn't drop Suggs very often, and, and uh, so we probably got more. And some of these other guys were kind of dropping them into coverage and trying to disguise and do things. And so they may not have, end up with as many. Bottom line is that at the end of the day, I don't care who gets them or how we get them, just as long as we get them.